friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today dinner's been changed around a little bit of how I was going to make it. I had saw this video on the, the reels that's on Facebook and it looked amazing. However, we didn't cut up that 40 pounds chicken on time and we had to run and pick up um, groceries and all that. So we're just gonna have the chicken and actually have some of that flavoring on there. Mark had some of this actually for lunch on his um, chicken. chicken wings, okay? And the meal was supposed to have like this and some um, uh, cream cheese and some other stuff in there, but it was supposed to go in a slow cooker, but we didn't have time because the chicken wasn't done. Now Friday, um, because Mark is going away for the week, so starting tomorrow, you're gonna see like a mini series of eating for one, which is just me. Um, and then you're gonna see the meals I'm gonna be making. But we went out to dinner uh, one time, you know, one last time before he actually left um, tomorrow at some point, and then he'll be back on Friday. Yes, yeah, so he gets to go to all the way to Ohio. But anyways, so um, you have to have the bottom pan in the combi, but we had a, um, a, a certificate or a gift, a, a free like blue and onion there at Texas Roadhouse. So what's going to happen is they brought some extra rolls that we didn't ask for because he had them on our table. We had to go home with them or throw them away, which why be wasteful like that? But we have like all that blue and onion or cactus or something, whatever they call it there at, at Texas cactus Roadhouse. Bloom. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put that on here and put it in the bottom once the chicken's cooked for probably about five or so minutes because I don't want to overdo the, the um, onions at all. So I'll bring it down here and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I have my top pan for the combi out here and what I'm going to do is spray this a little bit because I know it's going to get kind of probably messy and I had Mark hold out two of the chickens. I don't know why I put them in a food sealer bag knowing that we were going to have this for dinner, but whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't think. At least I don't think. All right. And have those there. And I'm going to take some of my homemade um, paprika blend and I'm going to go ahead and, and put that on both sides of that meat. Now that's got um, salt, pepper, obviously paprika, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and I think there's one more thing that I can't think of what it is right off the bat. I don't want to have to rewash my hands because I just got done washing my hands. Put that on that container. We'll go ahead and flip it. And then I'll let this cook for a few minutes because this is not very thick. Um, you know, the more I think about it, I should probably just throw that onion in now because that's not very thick. And then we're just going to go ahead and have that leftover. Um, we'll warm up a couple of those buns from Texas Roadhouse, and that's going to be our dinner. Nothing super fancy whatsoever. Um, sometimes you just don't need anything fancy whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is put this here. And I'm going to go ahead and take and put this in the combi now. Put it up on the top shelf. Now I do have my can already going. And I'll go ahead and put, they actually gave us some of the sauce and stuff too. Um, I don't really think we're gonna need that whole bit of onion, but I'll just warm it up just to be on the safe side. I don't think we're gonna eat it because there's still gonna be the the bun and stuff. Did you want those couple pieces of broccoli? Okay. I'll eat those later myself. So, anyways, hopefully you can see this. What this is gonna happen is this is gonna go. Oh, I gotta put some water in here. Hold on. Put about a half a cup of water in this bottom tray. Because I'm going to go ahead and put this on the combi. Um, if you go down here, it says combi crisp. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down one. I'm going to bring this down to 350. 
and I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Now what's going to happen is these lines are going to line up for about two or three minutes. This is going to get a little bit steamy and then um, this is already on the right side because that left side does this left side, this right side does this right side. So I'll bring you back um, once um, this cooks just a little bit and I'll go ahead and put some of that sweet baby rays on there and we'll get dinner started or finished. All right, it's getting towards the 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my little grippy thing and open up the door. And shake this up a little bit. I'm gonna put um, the seasoning on both sides. And I just think that would taste better. And just spread this in. And the um, onions are looking pretty good. All right. Grab, grab the chicken. Flip that. And put sauce on this side. And spread it in. That smells so good. If you guys get a chance to actually buy some, I would highly recommend buying some if it smells really, really good. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and put this back in and um, let that go for the rest of that 10 minutes and get that cooked. I don't think it's going to need 10 minutes because that chicken's looking pretty done. I didn't check the, um, the temperature, but it's looking pretty good. The buns are done and the onion petals are looking really good. All right, so I still have the onions going, and as you can see, the chicken is actually done. I'm going to just go ahead and just let that rest. Well, the onions are getting done here, so it's way past the 165. I didn't want to overcook the chicken. That's the last thing I ever want to do when I cook chicken or any kind of meat, because then it just gets dry and it gets nasty and nobody wants to eat it. So I'm going to let that go probably for that remaining the five minutes um, on the onion, and then we'll just throw everything together. All right, I think in hand, having that top tray off there as far as helping them um, onions brown some. So, try not to make such a big mess. But, I think this will make for a nice little dinner. Like I said, it's something that we didn't have to cook a lot of the things of. But, this is the, the chicken breast with the Sweet Baby Ray's um, garlic and parmesan. The uh, Texas Roadhouse um, onion and the tote Texas Roadhouse biscuit with some ranch for my onions. So let me know if you've ever done things like this. Um, is this something that you usually would do something of if you had the leftovers? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.